welcome to the first guitar lesson of kingofthestrings.com. This is a lesson for absolute beginners, so if you've never held a guitar before, this is the right place. Uh, before we start playing, I'll explain you how to hold the guitar, how to tune the guitar, etc. And there's also a free PDF that you can get with this lesson to show you everything I'm talking about now. You can get it at the website www.kingofthestrings.com. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to play your first song, consisting of two simple chords. Before we start playing, let's hold the guitar in the correct way. Now, I don't want to talk too much about holding a guitar because there are so many ways and so many opinions on this. But the most important thing is that you're sitting in a relaxed position, your muscles and your shoulders are not too tensed, everything feels good and relaxed. For me, this is the right position. You can also sit like that. Classical guitarists often sit like that, with a footrest under this leg. Of course, you can also stand and connect the guitar with a strap, anything you like. It's very important to tune the guitar correctly, and I, I recommend you buy a tuner to do that. You can, for instance, get one on your phone. I'm using one that's called Guitar Tools at the moment. Um, also, if you're using Apple, there's even one on your computer for free. Or just go to a store and buy one. Of course, you could also ask somebody else who plays the guitar close to you to tune it for you. Uh, the tuning of the guitar is this. E, A, D, G, B, and again, E. Now, just with the right hand, without using the left hand, just with the open strings, you can already play something very famous. See if this sounds familiar. Exactly, that's Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Now later, in one of the next lessons, I'll show you how to play. It's not that difficult. Let's start with the basics. In the right hand, as you can read in the PDF, the fingers have a name. This one is called P, letter P, I, M, and A. So, when I explain how to play something in the right hand, I'll be using these letters. For instance, the Metallica intro. P, I, M, A, M, I. P, I, M, A, M, I. Uh, Alright, that's it for the right hand. In the left hand, it's important that of course, your shoulder is relaxed again, uh, you're sitting in a natural position that feels good for you, and your thumb should be kind of opposite of the middle finger. So, it should be something like that. The position, right. It's also important when you press your strings here, that your fingers are not standing like that, because you'll, you won't have too much reach with that. Your fingers should be like that each coming from the same angle on the string, like this. Alright, let's start with um, two very easy chords which will enable you to play a lot of songs. And the first song we're going to do is The Drunken Sailor, it's an Irish traditional. Probably you'll recognize the melody of the song. chords to that song are E minor and D. Now in the PDF that you can download at the website, we will also explain you how to read tabs. Tablature. That's a very easy way of writing down how to play something. You don't need to be able to read scores for that. So it's very easy. Um, let's start with the E minor chord. It's probably the most easy chord to play on a guitar. The first finger, in the left hand the fingers are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4. The first finger, the index finger, should be on the second fret of the A string. Now these iron things you see here are called frets. 
So actually we call the spaces in between frets as well when we are indicating how to play something. So the first fret would be the space here. So if I tell you to press the first fret, you do this. Second, etc. Each fret makes the sound a semitone higher. So you press the second fret on the A string with the first finger and you press the second fret on the D string with the second finger. You press the second fret on the A string with the first finger and you press the second fret on the D string with the second finger. This will give you an E minor chord. You can play all the strings in your right hand. You can play them for now in the way you want. For instance, everything with your thumb. That's already a beautiful E minor chord. Now the second chord is a little bit more difficult. It's called a D major chord. You put your first finger on the second fret of the G string, your third finger on the third fret of the B string, and you put your second finger here on the second fret of the E string. Now in the right hand you're not supposed to play these two strings because they don't fit with the chord. So you should not play them. That means you start from the fourth string here, from the D string, like that. Now the most difficult thing of playing guitar is definitely switching between the chords. So you should practice that in a very slow and calm way. Just practice to go from E minor to D. Now, the song that we're going to play, The Drunken Sailor, is in a 4-4 four, four time signature. That means 4 beats per bar. A bar consists of 4 beats. So you count 1, 2, 3, 4. If you want to play that, you play this. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now after a while, this will start becoming easy for you. Then you can add some cool techniques in the right hand that make it sound much more impressive. For instance, you could do this. You just rest your thumb here on the guitar or here on the E string. And with the index finger, you play down and up the chord. So you go like this. There are many rhythms possible in this way. For instance, you could play it like this. Another way of playing it is by strumming in the right hand, in which you'll go down with your middle finger, with the M finger, and go up with the thumb. So for instance like this. Now in the future guitar lessons that you can get at kingofthestrings.com we will explain you a lot of techniques in the left hand, the right hand. You'll learn to play all the basic chords also some very special chords that enable you to play jazz songs, etc. With these chords, you'll be able to play almost any pop song that is ever written, because most pop songs consist of just three or four chords. In the right hand, you'll learn many cool techniques, finger-picking techniques, that make it possible to play impressive things, like some flamenco guitar. Cool arrangements of famous pop songs, for instance, It's My Life by Bon Jovi. Also, we'll have a look at some famous classical guitar pieces, for instance, the Spanish Romance.
Apart from that, we'll also teach you how to play scales, how to play easy blues or jazz patterns, and how to improvise over them. That's a lot of fun also when you want to play together with somebody else. So, for now, practice the two chords we've just seen, E minor and D. And when this is going well, I invite you to try the next lesson in which we will add some more chords and teach you some more famous pop songs and rock songs. For instance, we'll have a look at Brick in the Wall by Pink Floyd, Sweet Home Alabama, many other songs, The Lazy Song by Bruno Mars, etc. So good luck practicing, and if you're interested in getting more guitar lessons, please visit www.kingofthestrings.com. <laughs>